349 people died last year in crashes because they were not wearing their seat belts. Many of those victims were teens. News 3's Andrew Davis joins us from our Low Country newsroom tonight with how one student is sharing her ordeal to help others. Kevin Morazan was a Whale Branch senior, the school's mascot. Now he's dead, killed in a crash while he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And Kevin's death shocked many last year. Sparked an important idea, though. Agencies banding together to keep kids safe by getting them to buckle up. I was thrown about 50 feet from the car and landed on the road. That's what started the next chapter of Kelly Bright Burke's life back in 2009. A driver who fell asleep, passengers from Battery Creek High School without seatbelts on, She's thrown from the car, breaking her back, paralyzing her from the neck down. You hear about this stuff, you don't consider or think that it can happen to you, but it can and for some of them it will. A high school student then, Kelly now, has joined forces with Burton Fire, Beaufort County EMS and South Carolina State Troopers to send a message about safety, seat belts and how life can change in an instant, a message they hope to drive home to students at Kevin Morrison's alma mater. Whale Branch High. Everyone knows getting in a vehicle, you know, you have a possibility you can get in an accident. But to really know the extent of what happens if you do get in one, you know, you can be, the car can flip. If you don't have your seatbelt on, you can be thrown from the car. What injuries you could have, the number of injuries you can have. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I lived, you know. No, you know, I lived, but then again, I'm never going to walk again. I'm grateful that we do have the job that we do to help people, but it's not a fun job per se to have to go and find a child um, in the woods who's deceased or severely injured. And it's got to start somewhere. So I think if we, you know, just start small in the schools and they each person tells their friend, put your seatbelt on, hopefully it spreads the word. And yeah, I wish this would never happen. I wish I would have had my seatbelt on. I wish he would have never fallen asleep at the wheel. I wish the car would have never flipped, but I mean, it did. So I don't dwell on that. I just keep moving forward and I want to help those. The same thing could happen to them. In Georgia and South Carolina, more than 91% of drivers and, and uh, under the age of 18 don't wear seatbelts, or wear, and their passengers wear seatbelts. The goal is to make it 100%, though, so stories like Kevin and Kelly's never has to be told to the next generation of students. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3.